Well, hello everybody. Cheryl Brewer with Century 21 Affiliated here again. Hey, I um, wanted to come back and talk to you a little bit. Uh, the last time I saw you, Bob and I were in our kitchen. We were putting some plank boards at the bottom of our kitchen peninsula to give it a little more pop and interest. And I told you that we would probably be coming back to show you some tricks that you could do to add some architectural interest there to finish it off. So that's what I'm here for today. Before we can actually install those um, architectural interests, I wanted to share what that is. So we decided to go with corbels. Corbels are something that have been around since the Babylonian culture, and they were um, primarily structural to give strength to the building. Um, through the centuries, they have changed. Sometimes they're a little ornate, sometimes um, they're very, very, very elaborate. Um, I chose a very simple style for our corbel because our kitchen isn't very um, elaborate. We wanted to keep it more modern farmhouse look. So we chose this style. Uh, you can find corbels um, online. You can find them in vintage shops. Um, you can find them in salvage yards. Um, vintage corbels will cost you a lot of money. If you're lucky enough to find vintage corbels, that are in really good shape and enough for the project you need, you're probably gonna pay a good amount of money for them. So I decided to go with um, some corbels that I could finish myself. You can find um, unfinished corbels in um, websites online like Wayfair. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Home Depot. Most uh, wood supply places probably carry them. They come in a plethora of sizes and styles. You can get them very ornate, you can get them pretty simple. Um, you can get them in a, a range of woods. I chose a very um, inexpensive wood, which is called rubber wood, because I was gonna paint it anyway. Um, but if you want something that's unfinished and you just wanna put a simple stain on it, you may wanna go with a little nicer wood and you can surely find those. You are going to pay accordingly, so just keep that in mind. So anyway, I got these. Um, I'm going to show you how I finished them off. Um, they come as bare wood. The first thing I chose to do is to um, spray paint mine with an enamel black. And I did spray paint the inside. Right now it's white, but I started with that as black. So you want to make sure you get your black in there really good. Um, if you choose to use an enamel paint, just keep in mind that if you're going to go over it with, an, with any kind of latex, you're gonna to have to have something with a primer in it or put primer down. Um, I chose a paint with primer in it. So I wanted to go with kind of a vintage look. So I started with that black and I put a white flat latex paint over the top. And it did take quite a few um, coats because this is really black and it's white on top. So I didn't want too much of that black to be bleeding through. It doesn't matter if there's a few shadows of black showing when you're done, that's okay. Um, but you do want to lay down enough coats that you have something um, to scratch off if you're going to distress it. And that's what I've chosen to do. So anyway, you start with a dark coat. It can be black, it can be brown, it can be a dark red. It could Anything dark will work as a, as a distressing feature um, or a distressing paint. Put a light coat on or several light coats. And then when you're ready to distress, you're gonna to wanna to get some sandpaper. You can get nice little sanding blocks like this. And my favorite tool for this kind of work is an emery board. You want a nice strong one, but get yourself some emery boards um, for getting into the little crevices. Now this is a um, corbel that I've already started distressing. I don't know, I'm hoping you can see this. There's distressing here. All I did is I took my sanding block and started working on those edges with my sanding block. And to get some of the points and the finer features, I used my emery board. I'm gonna be using my emery board on these spots too. I've got some of it going here. You can see a little bit. I don't want too much distressing, just enough to give this a nice vintage look. There you go. So the next time I see you, Bob and I will show you how to um, install these. Uh, we're going to use them on our peninsula, and um, I think you're going to agree that when it's done, it's really going to add a nice little pop. Not too much of an interest, but enough that your eyes will just be drawn to that. 
So look forward to that and I'll see you soon.